Yeah, here we go. Oh, here's, oh, this is a really good one. Hello, I'm Bob Hartzler with Iowa State University Extension and Outreach, and today we're going to be talking about thistles. And to most people, any thistle's a bad thistle, but we do have native ones in Iowa that really don't pose much of a threat to our managed areas. And so we're going to talk about the native and the exotic. And so the first one we're looking at is musk thistle. And it was brought over by the Europeans, I'm not sure exactly when, probably the 1700s as an ornamental that they planted in their flower gardens. And you can see uh, these large uh, heads. They're the largest uh, thistle heads of what we have here in Iowa. And it is a problematic species that invades pastures and roadsides. Uh, so it's one that we really want to try to manage. And, and how we can identify musk thistle is, again, we have these large uh, flower heads that are relatively flat on the bottom, as you can see, whereas our other thistles are, are smaller and they have more of a vase-like uh, shape to them. Another really good trait for identifying musk thistle are on the leaves. As like most thistles, they do have these sharp spines on the uh, margins of the leaves where the, the teeth end. But if you can notice, um, the very margin of the leaves is sort of gray in color. And uh, so that really distinguishes it. And earlier in the season, that they even look more gray than that, and they often have a frosted appearance. So musk thistle is a biennial. That means that it grows for two years and then it dies. And so this plant would have germinated last year, forms a basal rosette, which is a cluster of leaves at the soil line. And in the second year, it sends up this flower stalk, plant flowers, and then it dies. And most of our thistles are biennials. Uh, Canada thistle is the one exception. So with the biennial thistles like bull thistle or musk thistle, your goal is to prevent seed production. And they're relatively easy to control while they're in the rosette stage. And so fall of the year is a great time to apply them because uh, you, if you don't completely kill that rosette, uh, you weaken enough that it can't tolerate uh, the winter. Uh, if you can't get out in the fall, early spring, you want to spray the biennial thistles while they're still in the rosette stage. They're a lot easier to kill. Once they start to bolt, send up that flower stalk, it's much more difficult to get control. Mowing can work, but oftentimes if you mow it, they'll send up a lateral uh, shoot. And so oftentimes it would take two mowings to uh, prevent seed production. One way to manage uh, non-native species is biological control. And musk thistle is one species where we have made efforts at introducing uh, biocontrol agents. And so uh, what was done is researchers went to the uh, region of the world, uh, Eurasia is where um, musk thistle came from, and they looked for pests that attacked the weed in its native ground, native land, and then those were introduced. So in the 1980s, across Iowa, the musk thistle weevils were uh, released. And so on this flower head, you can see a, a couple egg masses here. And so the adult weevils, they feed on the leaves of the musk thistle. Uh, they don't do a lot of damage on the leaves. Then they, they come up when it's flowering, they lay their eggs, then they spit out some of the leaf matter they chewed that, and cover those eggs. So those are the egg masses. When the larvae hatch, they actually burrow into this flower head and then they'll feed on the seed uh, that are developing within those flowers. And so, so there's, there's one of the weevils there, a little white uh, thing in, there's one there, I believe. But anyways, when you see that black inside the seed head, that tells you the weevils are feeding on the seed. And since musk thistle is a biennial, the only way it reproduces is uh, through seed production. So if you can stop seed production, you can stop the spread of the weevil. And if you look at musk thistle patches around the state, you usually can find uh, some of the weevils present. Now they haven't eradicated musk thistle, obviously, 
but I'd like to think that in their absence, we'd have more musk thistle than we see now. Isn't that disgusting? <laughs>